Hello guys and welcome to another video by Get Sit Python. Finally a long break is over and I am back with more cool scripts, more videos and more fun. So get ready to have fun with Python. In this video we will be covering the WhatsApp automation feature that is we will post messages to a specific user by automating this feature but there is one limitation to this script that is we cannot automate the QR scanning feature and that has to be done manually so while this cannot be called a perfect automation but since it was a request from someone on my Facebook automation post I have tried this thing so without any further delay let's jump right into it so first of all, import WebDriver from Selenium for the automation purpose. This is the only extra library that we require for our purpose. So create a driver object to open Chrome. So driver is equal to webdriver.chrome. And this will open up Chrome for you. Now we have to pass the URL which we want to get and in our case it will be this WhatsApp URL. So I'm just copying this and pasting it here. Now what we have to do in actual is we have to get the data from the user that we want to post. So I am inputting name of the group or the user to whom I want to send this message and after that I will input the message that I want to send to user so message is equal to input enter your message and after this thing I will accept the count that is how many times I want to send the message to the same user and this will be the list of inputs that I want but there is one thing we have to convert this count into int because all this input will be in string type and we have to explicitly convert it into int now after taking this input I have to take a random input after scanning the QR code I will press anything and then only we will try to locate the elements on our web page because this feature is not automated I have taken this input so when I click this input then only we will try to locate the elements on our web page then so first scanning this QR code I will be sending message to this group that is named pot so first of all I have to inspect and locate this element bot so let's see where it is it's a bit clustered and you have to make your way out to locate the actual element so keep searching keep searching and similarly it will get reduced to the bot so now we have to select a method on how to locate this bot or group or any user for that we will find the name so I think it is in the chat title you can see that it is a span element with title bot and this class is too generic to locate so I'll store this user by taking xpath 
Now if you don't know about XPath, you can google about it, but let's say you follow this tutorial and just get over this thing. So XPath will be slash slash span and this thing. Don't worry about all this stuff if you don't know. This is how XPath are entered. For more info, you can just Google things and do this thing. And in the title, I don't want this bot, but I want the name that we have input from the user. Actually, format will not be coming here. It will be just after this bracket. So dot format and pass name to it. And that's how this title will get the name that you are passing. Now we have to click this bot or user or any group to send message to it. So user dot click and after that we have to locate this text box element where we can send our message. Mm, just a minute. So inspecting it here, you can find that this text box is uh, not this one, just before this input container. Yes. So it is having class input container and it will be easy to locate this box. So message box is equal to driver dot find element by class name and in the arguments we will send this input container and this will locate this text box. Now we have to repeatedly send our message and click the send button and for that we will have to run a loop and this loop will run count times. So for i in range count run this loop. and we have to do two things. We have to send message to this message box using message box dot send keys function. And in here we will pass our message. So just I am entering some random message. Now you can see that this send button have to be clicked to send the message. So we have to locate this element too. So let's see where we can inspect it. So this will come right after this thing. Okay. So it is a button with class compose bd and send. And so it is easy to use driver dot find element by class name function and in there will pass this compose button send class name and this will locate our button now all that is left is to click this button so button dot click and that's it you can see that these 20 lines of code will replicate all the things you want to do. You can send this message any number of times to a specific user. So let's run this script. But remember this is not a proper automation as we have to manually scan the QR code. And so get your phones ready with you with internet connection of course to scan this. So I am scanning this WhatsApp QR code and you can enter this group name, message name or count before or after scanning. But remember that 
you have to enter the input anything after scanning QR code you cannot enter right here before scanning else it will start finding the elements which are not yet available well let me just correct this thing hmm. and of course keep your phone's battery a little bit higher so now let's see how it works oops I think there is some minor mistake in the code and let's see where it is oh okay so we have to use driver dot find element not elements by xpath and that was the only thing which prevented our code from running so let's run it again I have run this script again and user will be the bot group that I created so you can scan this QR code before entering or after entering the message in these inputs it doesn't matter but remember that you have to enter your raw input after scanning the QR code that is this input has to be after scanning the QR code well you can see that it ran successfully so if you have any ideas regarding any script or automation or any other topic that you think will be interesting to share with please let me know in the comment section below and if I like that idea I will surely make a video on it so this whole month will be full of fun and loads of videos regarding such cool tips tricks automation and many more python related stuff stay tuned and get set python thanks for watching guys take care bye bye